Hello world, Lockpicking Dev here. Today I have a Vinkhaus EGS and it is uh, a five pin pin tumbler and as you can see a passive pin key control design on it. Four on one side, one pin on the other. It doesn't affect the picking at all, it's just a way of key control. But it's unique and it's cool. So. I like to collect these kinds of things. So let's try to pick this and see what's inside of it. I've only given this one real go so far and I do know there are definitely spools in here so good to see there are security pins in this on top of the key control so it's not just some um, you know sidestepping of security there. Something on pen three, let's continue in the back just to make sure. Pen Maybe we gotta click out a four there. Going all the way in the back again. And one seems like it's binding. Keep my damn pick on it. Yeah, I think it's good. I'll leave it alone. I'm gonna switch to a deeper pick here. I feel like I hit one earlier, but not feeling anything anymore so it might have been one that was higher that I bumped up that needs to go go more There we go, pin one was it. Pin one is set. Now pin two feels like it needs to go. Click out a two. There we go. That was three. I noticed the lock move. Let's tighten that up a little bit more just to make sure we're good there. There's a spool right there. Come on. Hey, really? 
Nice, four. Let's get a different pick and try that again. There we go, pin two. Go. Like four there. I'm going to switch picks again just because that one's extra steep. So I'm going to get a good feel in here of what's going on. Nothing on one. Is that two again? Is that what I'm feeling? I think so. There we go. Yeah, sure as hell was. Damn, two was up there. All right. So. Yeah, sure enough. Yeah, look at that. Two was up there. Yeah, that explains it all. So, I'm actually going to cut uh, the video and gut this and be right back just because Euro, Euro cylinders can be a uh, real time consumer. And if there's anything unique about it when I'm gutting it, I will let you know uh, when I get back. Okay, I'm back with our Wink House uh, EGS, and I decided that I am not going to gut this. And let me show you why. Look at the uh, C clips. Here, I'll even turn it. Notice that it's not a C. There is no break in that C in that clip there at all. That is a complete round clip. So if we take it out. Put it on the other side and I'll show you that one as well. That clip is also not broken. So when somebody assembled this, they put some sort of circular clip that fit just perfectly and you can see the crimps right there. They crimped it on both sides. So instead of destroying that, um, it's not worth it to me. Uh, there are security pins in here, but just your normal security pins, nothing worth, you know, bragging about. And, um, 
again, these, I wish I would have uh, been able to take it apart to show the passive pins here, but all it is is really just some pins sticking out of the core, making sure that you can't put another key in there because these pins have to foot, fit right there into these holes in order for this key to work. And that's all it is. There's nothing to push in the bottom. Uh, it just makes sure that there's nothing that's sticking out and pushing these pins uh, into the core and making it not turn. Anyways, here is our Wink House EGS and a nice little keyway. You can see how thin it gets at the top there. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.